So just bringing yourself into a nice, comfortable seated position. And we'll begin by taking a nice, long, slow, deep breath in through the nose. And then let it go out the mouth. And again, nice, long, slow, deep breath in through the nose, raising your shoulders up to your ears. And then exhaling, letting your shoulders drop, relaxing. And once more, nice, long, slow, deep breath in, raising your shoulders up towards your ears. And then exhaling, letting it go out the mouth, feeling your shoulders soften, your body relax. And just to help you land in this space, we're going to elongate the breath. So if you can, try inhaling to a count of 10 and exhaling to a count of 10. And if it helps, you can compartmentalize the breath into three parts. So your lower Buddha belly is responsible for about 30% of your total breathing capacity. And then your mid chest, your rib cage area, your thoracic is responsible for about 60%. And then your upper chest, where your throat and your shoulders and your collarbones are, is only responsible for the last sip of air, the last 10%. So as you're breathing in, you could breathe in to your lower belly for three seconds. One, two, three. And then you can breathe into your rib cage for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then last you can come into your upper chest, 10. And then exhaling from your belly for 10, nine, Eight, exhaling from your ribs, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and the last drop of air from your upper chest, one. So just continue breathing in for a count of 10. And breathing out for a count of 10. as best you can. We're slowing down the mind, bringing our body into harmony, coherence. And if you need to, you can shorten the counts. Maybe inhaling for eight, Exhaling for eight. Or inhaling for five. Exhaling for five. But whatever you do, just match the inhale to the exhale.
And on your next exhale, just releasing the breath, breathing normally and just noticing the effects of that practice on your body, on your mind. Just noticing whether you've moved the needle in the direction of more peace, more calm, more presence. Feeling both more present in your body, whilst at the same time, a sense of being nowhere, a sense of lightness, non-local reality. Just being grounded into this present moment. As you ground into your body, into this moment, just invite you now to take a journey inside of yourself. Just scanning your body, starting at your crown, moving your attention, your awareness. down your body, just noticing and pausing any areas where you might feel any sensations or maybe any tension, any, any tightness. Just noticing but not attaching. Moving your attention down your body. Maybe just noticing if your jaw has become clenched or tight. Maybe just relaxing the jaw, maybe parting the lips ever so slightly, relaxing your tongue. Relaxing your shoulders, just asking any tense muscles, asking them to relax. through your body, down through your arms, developing your higher faculties of interception, this turning within, this developing of your awareness of what's going on inside your body. It's one of the first steps to your awakening, first steps to your liberation first steps to taking your power back. So by scanning your physical body, you start to develop that faculty of awareness, of perception. This can then start to extend to awareness in your etheric body where you start to pick up energy signals, intuitive signals from other peoples or other places, energy fields. It all starts here. Just noticing what's going on in your body. Just making a mental note perhaps of where that tension is, not judging it, just loving on this physical body. And 
moving your awareness down through your torso, down through your hips. And your thighs, your knees. As you've scanned your body now, we're just going to bring our awareness to the chakra energy centers that exist within the body. They're like an energy superhighway. There are seven that exist in the body, acting like junctions, energy centers that are associated with different archetypes, different colors, different actions. And maybe you'll notice that you hold more tension in one of these areas more often than you do anywhere else. And this just might denote under active or an overactive chakra somewhere where there might be a blockage chakra that maybe just needs to be loosened opened a little maybe even closed a little if it's too free flowing just bringing everything back with balance First of all, let's just bring our awareness to the first chakra, the root chakra. In Sanskrit, this is called the Muladhara, and it is situated right at the bottom of your spine, and is associated with the color red. With your root chakra, we say, I am. So just for a moment, bringing your awareness, your attention to the base of your spine and to your root chakra, thinking, imagining, or feeling a vibrant color red swirling in that space. is the chakra of groundedness, of support, of resourcefulness. And then moving your awareness up your spine now to your sacral chakra, your second chakra. This is your Svadhisthana chakra in Sanskrit and is associated with the color orange. With my sacral chakra, I feel. This chakra is located just below the belly button. Just bringing your awareness there. Thinking, imagining, or feeling a vibrant color orange swirling in that space. This is the emotional chakra, the chakra of feeling. Of expression, in terms of creative expression. Your passions.
And moving your awareness now up your spine to your solar plexus chakra, your Manipura, your third chakra, which is located just above your belly button and below your rib cage. This is your inner fire, your inner sun center. With my solar plexus, I can, I must, I will. This is where your fire, determination, and your drive comes from. This is where you take your ideas, you turn them into action, you take your passions, and you stride forward. Think, imagine or feel a vibrant color yellow swirling in this space. And now moving your awareness up the spine, coming to rest at your heart space in the center of your chest. This is your fourth chakra, the Anahata chakra. Sanskrit Anahata is this. The Anahata chakra, the heart chakra is associated with the color green. And in higher frequencies, it can also be associated with the color pink. just thinking, imagining, feeling a vibrant color green or even a pink swirling in this space. With my heart chakra, I love the breathing into that space. spine, bringing your attention now to your throat area. This is your fifth chakra, the Vishuddha chakra, your throat chakra. This chakra is associated with the color blue. And with my throat chakra, I speak. This is the chakra of your communication, your open expression, your authenticity. We can often feel that this chakra is blocked when we feel tongue-tied or rendered mute. When we don't speak up, our energy can get blocked in this area almost bottlenecked. So just breathing in and out of this space, thinking, imagining, or feeling a vibrant color blue swirling in this area as you breathe in and out of your throat chakra. throat, bringing your awareness up to the point in between your eyebrows. This is your third eye, your sixth chakra, and your Ajna chakra. This chakra is associated with the color violet. And 
with my third eye, my Ajna Chakra, I see. Just thinking, feeling, imagining a vibrant color, violent, swirling in this space in between your eyebrows, maybe even just raising your gaze, keeping your eyes closed, just raising your eyes up to that point. In your mind's eye, just feeling your third eye cracking open as you begin to see beyond sight, to hear beyond what your ears can hear. Your third eye can be the channel in which intuitive information is received from the universe. Just imagining a bright white light streaming in through your third eye right now. Opening yourself up to receive. And then lastly, bringing your attention all the way up now to the top of your head, to your crown. To your seventh chakra, the Sahasrara chakra. This is the chakra of understanding. With my crown chakra, I understand. And this chakra is most closely associated with a bright white or a gold. As you focus your attention here, just thinking, imagining, or feeling a vibrant color, white or gold, shining in this space. With my crown chakra, I understand. And as you breathe into this space, just imagine your crown, which is also referred to as the thousand petaled lotus. Just imagine your crown blossoming and opening, opening at the top, making you a vessel for receiving downloads and information from your higher self, from spirit, from the universe. Just seeing yourself as open at the top. You see that in your mind's eye, just imagining energy traveling into the top of your crown, coming into your body now. Maybe a bright light coming into your crown, traveling past your third eye, down your throat, past your heart into your solar plexus, down to your sacral, down to your root. And from your root chakra, imagine this energy now extending down into the center, the heart of the earth. And as it reaches the heart of the earth, you feel yourself so beautifully tethered and grounded connected in this open channel, this open source 
of energy. And this time as you breathe in, imagine the energy traveling from the heart of the earth, coming up, traveling up to your root at the base of your spine, and then traveling up your energy centers, hitting each one as it goes. First hitting your root chakra with your root chakra. My root chakra, I am. My sacral chakra, I feel. My solar plexus, I can. With my heart chakra, I love. My throat chakra, I speak. With my third eye, I see. With my crown, I understand. Feel that energy bursting out of your crown chakra and returning up and out to the universe. So for the next few breaths, just continue with this dynamic breath, receiving energy in through your crown from the universe, traveling down through your chakras, down to the center of the earth, and receiving that energy back from the heart of the earth through each one of your energy centers all the way back up to your crown. Just enjoy this dynamic exchange for a few breaths.
noticing that breath. And just for a moment, just allow the silence and the stillness to settle in, just float where you are in pure presence, in pure awareness, in pure bliss. Sat Chit Ananda. Just start to deepen your breath. Just starting to bring your awareness slowly back into this now moment. And I just invite you to take a nice deep inhale and reaching your arms out, up and overhead, bringing your right palm to meet your left. And then bring your hands down through your central line, coming to rest at your heart, your heart chakra with your thumbs resting in your clavicle and your fingers pointed slightly away and just bowing your head in gratitude. First of all, in gratitude to all the other meditators that have joined us on this call and in this now moment and who, all of whom who will be joining us in a future now moment. Just bowing your head in gratitude and just wishing them namaste, namaste, namaste. The light in me recognizes the light in you. And then bowing your head in gratitude to yourself, your higher self, the one that is connected to all that is, the all powerful creator that you are. You're all that was, you're all that is, and you are all that will ever be. Aham Brahmasmi. Recognition of the one body, the one mind. You are the fractal of this one mind that we are all connected at a deeper level. Just recognizing yourself as this individuation of the one mind manifested in your body in this incarnation. So just saying thank you to your higher self for bringing you here where you can plug yourself back in to recharge, reconnect to that universal energy. And then lastly, just offering gratitude to the ascended masters and the teachers who have gone before us, who have shared these practices with us Share the knowledge of the chakra centers, that we too may experience that which is auspicious, that we too may come home to ourselves and to the truth of who and what we are. I just say thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for this opportunity to teach, guide, to learn, to grow, to come together in community. I'm so grateful for this opportunity to live life in all its forms, in all its glories, in all its challenges. I just say thank you to all of it. And we'll close this meditation by chanting Om, the hymn of the universe just once together. So first of all, just taking a nice deep breath in, well, just take a nice deep breath in and let that go. And now breathing in for Om, nice deep breath in. Just allowing those vibrations to settle, releasing your hands down to your lap. And then very gently in your own time, just gently floating your eyes open. 
And just taking a moment to breathe in your surroundings, bringing a little bit of where you've been back with you, that presence, that harmony, that peace, that connectedness. Bring a part of that into your waking life, your walking, talking, active day. Thank you for meditating with me.